Hello forest friends. My name is Miss Sophia and today we are going to be reading about birds. Today we'll be reading two stories. Our first story is Everyday Birds by Amy Ludwig van der Water. Cut paper illustrations by Dylan Metrano. Our second story is This is the Nest that Robin Built by Denise Fleming. Today we'll also be putting together materials for birds to make nests. We'll learn about the materials birds use in our second book. Let's get started with our first story, Everyday Birds. Every day we watch for birds weaving through the sky. We listen to their calls and songs. We like to see them fly. Chickadee wears a wee black cap. Jay is loud and bold. Nuthatch perches upside down. Finch is clothed in gold. Hawk hunts every day for prey. Cardinal flashes fire. Woodpecker taps hollow trees. Crow rests on a wire. We see lots of woodpeckers in the forest, huh? Heron fishes with his bill. Sparrow hops in brown. Mockingbird has many voices. Pigeon lives in town. Eagle soars above the land. Oriole hangs her nest. Owl swoops soundlessly late at night. Robin puffs his chest. Hummingbird drinks flowered nectar. Goose flies in a V. Bluebird sleeps a meadow's edge. Gull stares at the sea. Every day we watch for birds living right outside the door. We pay attention to the birds. Every day we learn some more. Every day we watch for birds weaving through the sky. We listen to their calls and songs. We like to see them fly. Chickadee wears a wee black cap. Jay is loud and bold. Nuthatch perches upside down. Finch is clothed in gold. Hawk hunts every day for prey. Cardinal flashes fire. Woodpecker taps hollow tree, crow rests on a wire. Heron fishes with his bill, sparrow hops in brown. Mockingbird has many voices, pigeons live in town. Eagle soars the land, oriole hangs her nest. Owl swoops soundlessly late at night, robin puffs his chest. Hummingbird drinks flower nectar, goose flies in a V. Bluebird sleeps at a meadow's edge, gull stares at the sea. Every day we watch for birds living right outside our door. We pay attention to the birds. Every day we learn some more. There are so many different kinds of birds and they're all so beautiful. If I could be any animal, I would be a bird. And now we're going to read, This is the Nest That Robin Built. This is the squirrel who trimmed the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built.
This is the dog who brought the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the horse who shares his straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the pig who makes the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the mouse who gathered the weeds dotted with seeds that bind the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the rabbit who picked the grass fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds dotted with seeds, that binds the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushion the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the nestlings, Tuft and pink, that cracked the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. And this is the robin who built the nest. Anchored with twigs, not too big, wrapped it with string, long and strong, covered with straw, rough and tough, plastered with mud, soft, not soupy, bound with weeds, so sodded, dotted, with, <laughs> dotted with seeds, cushioned the grass, fresh and sweet, who laid the eggs, brittle and blue, cracked by nestlings, tufted and pink. Now young fledglings, rumpled and ruffled, ready to fly. Good. Bye. What kind of materials did Robin find to build her nest? straw, grass, weeds, mud, leaves. We're going to go around the yard and see if we can find some materials to put in our bowl so that the birds can come take them to build their nests. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, I have my bowl and I've found my materials. The first thing I found was lots of long grass that I think would make for a very soft nest. I also found some different leaves and weeds around the yard, which could add to some extra cushion. Some big leaves, maybe help bind the nest. And then I found some moss, which I thought could also be cushiony. I did not find any sticks or twigs in my yard, but I hope you guys found some. I'm going to set this up so the birds can come and use the materials I found. I found the perfect spot to set up my bowl of nest materials, right under this tree. 
Do you see it? I'd love to see pictures of your bowls and where you set them up in your yard. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the forest soon.